Hello, and welcome back to the garden. It's the 30th of July, so it's a bright sunny day today. It's really nice and warm. We've been having weeks of weather in the 50s and 60s, which hasn't been the greatest, but we've had a fair bit of rain, so at least the uh, plants have been getting watered. So we're getting about to the end of summer here in England. Um, which means that things are in full bloom, things are ripening, and we're a couple weeks away from winding things down. So, I wish I could tell you that everything was happy and orderly in the garden, but sadly, it is not because the plants had other ideas. So the first one I want to show you is my peas and black Russian tomato bed. So, here it is. This overgrown monstrosity is the peas. These are Shiraz Mange 2, or um, snow peas. And they are just beautiful. These, they come from these flowers, obviously, if you can see. And they are just beautiful. They are growing like mad. They have completely decimated my support system. This is a tomato. This is one of the black Russian tomatoes. Don't have any flowers yet. But I don't expect them to be too far off. Now I know I need to mow. Please forgive my non-mowed lawn. We will be mowing quite shortly. They're just beautiful, aren't they? Another black Russian tomato. They produce these beautiful purple, somewhat speckled green snow peas, which are just so cool. And over here is my absolute monster. Most of this is the spaghetti squash. The spaghetti squash has taken steroids and decided to try and take over the garden, even though it's in a separate bed. It's producing fruit all over the place. We've got several in there. We've got a couple bigger ones down here. It has just tried its best to take over. As you can see, it's top of my supports as well. These are five and six foot supports. It has just destroyed them. Here's my <laughs> solitary tomato that's left from my initial to tomato plantings. Um, it's got a couple tomatoes. So, Hopefully we'll see something in the way of tomatoes this year. Believe it or not, we have been picking and picking and picking the courgettes from the courgette plant that's in here as well. And they are just coming back like weeds. There's a cucumber plant in here as well, which I cannot find minute because everything is either courgette or spaghetti squash. It's in here somewhere. Anyway, so yeah, spaghetti squash. Now if I do this next year, um, I'm definitely not, definitely not going to plant more than maybe three or four spaghetti squash, spaghetti plants. Um, spaghetti squash plants in a bed because they just take over everything. I also need to get much better support because this squash and pea netting is just not doing anything. These are the potatoes. They as well are going everywhere. Um, Serena and I dug up 
the first row of potatoes, which we just go around here and I will show you. So we dug up this first row here of potatoes and got fairly good yield. They were really pretty kind of whitish and purplish potatoes. And they had a terrible time getting onions to grow they just haven't liked it uh, let's see there should be some cucumbers down here yeah here's a cucumber plant it looks similar to the zucchini plant but obviously different <laughs> you can see a little tiny cucumber little tiny one forming they're about two months behind these crazy monster zucchinis. I have been chopping and putting these into everything. So, yep. Yeah. So as I said, this is spinach and in between are cabbage. But look at how holy that is. Isn't that crazy? I, no matter how many of the cucumber caterpillars I take off, they just completely chew up my cabbage plants so I'm gonna have to try something else I really don't want to try the nematodes because gross but I don't know what else to do I've got some little tomatoes intermits in here so they're coming along hopefully they make it before the cold weather sets in this is red oak leaf lettuce and it's great it's really tasty cut it comes back within a couple days so this is my favorite bed this is the strawberry bed and I've got these branches from our yard just stuck in here as support for the beans to climb up these red flowers are the runner beans and they're so pretty they're really pretty and I've got loads of strawberries. I'm hoping that shows. We need to come out here and pick these. I have to get one of my girls to come and pick them. But they are just wonderful strawberries. I mean, they pretty much taste like, you know, store-bought. But are from your own garden. 
and they are delicious. I just love those red flowers from this bean. It's really pretty. Anyway, there's another project I'm going to show you. Just a sec. Okay, welcome to the garden 2.0. These are our other beds. Now, we haven't filled those back to or those back to. We need to get more dirt, but this is three tons of dirt, three metric tons of dirt, which is a lot. Anyway, we've just seeded this bed. Well, I've just seeded this bed with our fall and winter crops. So we've got spinach, mustard. I really like the mustard and I was so sad I had to pull it all up because it bolted. So we will see. Anyway, around it, I've planted these garlic chives. These are really great to just add a bit of flavor and greenery to your cooking. So yeah. Anywho, so that's that. The rest of the bed, I think I'm going to plant potatoes and I've got some late season potatoes. And then I'm gonna use this last bed for thinning out all of these seedlings because if you look they're pretty much growing on top of each other so and that's not the best for the plants they can't thrive as well as if they're spaced out a little bit so we will put all of these spaced out seedlings in this bed so hopefully everybody can have enough room to grow and be happy yeah. All right. Bye.